See, this is typical, a neurological problem with that roach, where she's come in contact with the bait. Just by coming in contact with it. Look at all the dead roaches in less than a week, and they've sweeped this in here. She's got an egg, but she can't. This is one that's walking normally. And she's walking normally, and that roach has no idea what they're trying to do right now. They, they came in contact with the bait. As you can see, they all started coming out of the walls and out of areas they were in. You can see there's roaches up there. See, this is the problem. The, the garbage chute is right here. Outside is the garbage room. And this is why the infestation is happening is they have access to food and then there's water. You got the washing machine, so there's access to water. They have a perfect environment. You know, the trash cans are completely infested. Okay, so what we've done is, you can see we baited there where nobody's gonna touch that. Um, you can see there. So this is gonna take, there's a lot of nymphs, a lot of the adults have died since last week. Uh, we expected that, now we're expecting nymphs in all different stages. And it's perfectly normal, but it does require uh, constant follow-up and inspection. The whole key to the secret to doing roach control is inspect, identify, treat, follow up, inspect, identify, and treat. And there's no way around it. That's the secret to getting this done. Um, if you want fast results, you're going to have to be here on a weekly basis. If you want slower results and you can live with it, two weeks. And in most cases, if we only had to do it once, we would follow up in 30 days. We would probably have 90 to 95 percent control. But you know, you wait longer. So the idea is following up to get the result for the client that they're expecting um, and, and getting it done quickly.